your group's IEO of, of CM Macro and, and CP Lotus Group. Um, and so, uh, uh, you know, you have 2,600 stores. I mean, huge, right? Um, you know, across Thailand and Malaysia. And, and I understand uh, you rely heavily on technology for a competitive advantage. So, I mean, tell us about the challenges you're facing in those areas. Tell, tell us, tell us um, what are some of the obstacles that you, you see in outperforming your comp competitors? Well, I think it's an interesting question. How do you outperform the competitors? We, we don't really think about the competitors as much as people think we do. We more focus on the customer and what's the best experience for the customer. I think the challenge that we have right now across our business and everywhere is around um, giving a seamless omni-channel experience. So what people are expecting is that if they go online, if they go offline, or our salesperson goes to their store and meets them, that they have the same experience. So our job is to make sure that we have the same omni-channel experience no matter how they interact with our business. So we look at um, the solutions to help manage that. A lot of our time is spent um, trying to get a, an ecosystem in place that will drive that. And Oracle is quite a core contributor to that. The, the other thing I'll talk quickly about is uh, people may misunderstand a little bit about Thailand. Uh, Thailand in particular is quite a digital uh, country. Um, you know, the electronic payments have kicked off uh, significantly there, QR code is significant to us. The banks are very active. I think we've got Casacorn Bank here. Um, it's a very different environment. It is the next, um, it's the next tech hub of Asia, I would say. It's, it's heading that way. And, uh, you know, um, most of the companies in Thailand sees themselves as tech companies now, and that's the transformation we're trying to make. Yeah, so, I mean, as you're, as you're doing that, I mean, as you're, as you're um, focused on the customer, which I think makes total sense, um, I mean, and you're trying to eliminate the friction in, in, in the shopping experience. I mean, what, what prompted you to, to, to choose Oracle ERP and, and our retail solutions? I think from an Oracle, uh, the reason we chose the Oracle solution is for the omni-channel, particularly. It's very difficult to give a full omni-channel experience. Uh, and what does that really mean? It means that you can track your customer at customer group level, at, um, you, can, you can personalize promotions to that customer. You know, and if we had to do this in a build it ourselves or build from the ground up, it's a lot more difficult to do. So we've chosen a hybrid area where we have um, the Oracle Cloud ERP driving some of our business, and then we've got in-house capability to drive the rest. And how, how's that turned out? I mean, how's that experience been? Uh, pretty successful, very successful. I, I think we've um, um, got a good solution. It, obviously, you know, if you talk to our CEO, it's never, it's never 100 percent. But we're getting there. We're on a very good journey to get to a, a solution that meets our customers' satisfaction. So now I understand that you know your online revenue has, has quadrupled in two years. So mm -hmm. first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, and se second of all, I mean, how'd you, how'd you manage that? I mean, that seems that seems like a uh, I mean, that seems like a big pivot. How how do you do that? Well, I think everyone has experienced the COVID phenomenon. That's really pushed us along on um, e-commerce. And what we did at Macro is we had a very strong end-to-end -end program at Macro and Lotus, a strong end-to-end -end program to drive all the uh, omni-channel experience. Um, we managed it through um, a number of solutions. Um, obviously, analytics drives a lot of it, uh, particularly around um, customer, what the customer wants, the customer segmentation. So we've been driving a lot of uh, business through uh, analytics and um, by revamping all our end-to-end -end program. Right, so now on the Lotus side, I mean, you have, um, I mean, you have a lot of infrastructure still, still on premise and, and I understand you, um, you've implemented uh, Oracle Exadata Cloud a customer. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's your, what's your vision for, for future growth there in, in that retail workload? The, the future growth for us, so traditionally the retailer was get the product in the location. That was the typical thing we used to do in the, in the past. Now life is very much different. It's more complicated, more demanding. The customer expects the right product at the right location, at the right channel, at the right time. With the solutions we have, the analytics platform, it helps us basically get to that outcome. Right, and now um, kind of, so 
on the one hand, you have exadata cloud of customer, but on the on on the CM macro side, you guys yes. have now started using autonomous data data yes. warehouse. So yes. how has that that turned out? So so the reason that we picked um, ADW or autonomous data warehouse is that our business is very much entrepreneurial, meaning that. All of our users, I mean, all of our users are empowered to basically do their own reporting. And what this means is we have a very huge mixed workload and we have a massive data, as you can imagine, there's so much data we have in our system. Um, and every, every store, every buyer, every business user has to access that data and slice and dice their own reports. Now, when we went out to market to look at a solution, the, the closest we could come is that, you know, the ADW was the closest thing to do that. It takes a mixed workload. We have a lot of batch running and then we have a lot of um, ad hoc reporting going on. And this really helped us um, drive that. And we really um, ha haven't looked back from that point. Obviously, there's more to do, mm. but, you know, we see ourselves as a, um, as a data company as well as a, a tech company. And, you know, we're looking to drive it forward. Yeah, and I, I think that's true, frankly, of, of pretty much every company. I mean, every company today needs to be a data company, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, you know, our, our ability to collect information, to collect data, you know, I mean, our, our you know, is, 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 you know, it's grown tremendously over the years, right? And the fact that we now have these tools available allows us all, I think, to be a lot more nimble, a lot more, a lot more responsive to, to needs. And um, I think, um, I think the journey that you guys are on and have gone through so far and are continuing to go is is, is interesting and fascinating. Um, thank you so much, Paul. Thank you. Hey, did you like what you learned? Make sure to check out this video or this link, and of course, subscribe now.